like that person and you know so much about them and you don't have to ask what they're like. You know them and if somebody says, hey, what's your boyfriend like? What's your girlfriend like? What's your best friend like? It's off on the tip of your tongue because you've thought about so many times why you like them or why you think they're great or why you just enjoy hanging out with them. And yet for some reason with Christ, we don't know. Two questions that I just want you to think of. If you want to write them down, if for some reason you got something to write down with, but there are only two questions, so I'm assuming most of you can probably remember this. Number one, it's just a really personal question. Who do you say that Jesus is? And don't don't think like automatically the pat Christian answer. Oh, he's the Messiah, the Son of God. Peter already used that 2,000 years ago. Please come up with something original. Okay? Who do you say, if Jesus is unimportant to you, then say he's some unimportant guy. That's fine, but at least be honest. Don't give me the, the, the dopey Christian answer that you're used to hearing. That for some reason, like if we were sitting down, you'd think I want to hear it. I, I, I would, I mean, if, if we sit down at some point, we'll talk about this, that's great. But don't say that if you don't believe it. That's fine, it's your choice. But who do you say that Jesus is? The second question is this, how do you prove it? How do you prove it? Now, this isn't really an issue if you don't think that Jesus is an important character in your life, because then you can just say, well, I don't go to church, I don't really read my Bible, I don't really care about Jesus, I don't even know how to spell Jesus. So that's why he's unimportant, that's how I can prove it. But if you claim to be a follower of Christ, if you claim to be a Christian, you better have a way to prove it, right? Because if you're dating someone, you better be able to prove it. Because there is nothing worse than that that poor pathetic soul that says to everyone, I'm dating someone at another school, and then you find out they're not dating them at all. Because they can't prove it. That's sad. If that happened to you, I'm sorry to call you out like that. But you shouldn't have been doing that. Be sure your sins will find you out. The Bible makes that really clear. But here's the deal. How do you prove that you have a relationship with Christ? And if your answer to that, if you claim to be a Christian, let's say you say in the question number one, I say that he's Jesus Christ, he's a very important person in my life, I have a relationship with him. But your answer to number two is, I go to church, I go to youth group, and I go to a Christian school. Your answer to number one is probably wrong. If the only way that people can prove that you're a Christian is because you go to church, your answer to number one is probably wrong. He's really not that important to you. I'm not talking about you need to be one of those people that go around. I knew one person, I think I told the story two years ago when I was here, but I knew one person that, that was just on fire, literally, <laughs> for Christ. And what he would do is he just got saved, and he was like, oh, I just got to get everyone saved. And he, he would walk around his public high school with a match, uh, uh, with a lighter, unbeknownst to the, to the teachers. I mean, this was several years ago, so there wasn't really a huge issue with people burning out the schools. And he'd walk up to people and he'd say, do you know Jesus Christ? He'd say, no, I don't care about Jesus. And he would grab their hand and hold it on, on, on above the lighter. He goes, this is what hell's going like. This is why you need Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. You know, in the superlative section of the yearbook, most likely to get the crap kicked out of him at one point in his life. I mean, that was him, right? It was, it was bad. No one liked this guy. And eventually somebody pulled him aside and said, look, I really appreciate your gift of evangelism, but I don't think this is right. <laughs> the lighter thing's got to go. Right? So if you're like that, then that, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like, you know, you're, you're a Christian because you carry your Bible around and you're like the other girl that I knew back at one of the churches I worked at and she would hear somebody cuss at school and she would, as soon as she would hear someone cuss, she'd turn around and she goes, 